I personally think that it will only take a few years when quantified self is actually started to be called as an industry. But when it comes to future of quantified self, there are many different things that it's gonna disrupt. At the moment you go to a doctor when you have a disease, but you don't necessarily go there to figure out the root cause. And that's something that's gonna change. Gene therapy will step into the picture. We will be able to um, see all kinds of uh, diseases or, or troubles uh, way, way before they are serious. Uh, also, uh, all kinds of insurance companies will start to in incentivize people who take uh, proactive responsibility for their health. Some of the things are obviously rooted in our genes and uh, those are the things that we don't necessarily uh, have the tools for changing yet. But as we go forward, we start to see that by using the information, um, what we have gathered through science, we can start to manipulate uh, our bodies as well as our DNA. The world is coming much more transparent in many ways. And you know, there are of course some negative uh, aspects there as well, but a lot of positive things. And I think quantified self plays a huge role in making the world more transparent. Health data will be public. People will want to share the health data. Uh, it won't be as private as it is now. People uh, will change their attitudes toward that. What technology does to us, it extends our human capabilities to areas where we cannot go that easily on just on our biological potential alone. We perhaps will see during our lifetimes an app store for the human body. If you think of Google Glass in a way, how it's augmenting your day-to-day -day activities in real time, that technology will be merging with, for example, with uh, as contact lenses on our eyes or even on our skin or under our skin in our nervous system. And, and that will be pretty interesting what it means to be human at that point.